Live look now at SeaTac International Airport, where one flight is already canceled over concerns about high-speed phone service and how it could impact safety. There's been a temporary pause on starting 5G near airports until everything can get sorted out. Kick 5's Glenn Farley is live at SeaTac for us tonight. So, Glenn, is this having an impact? It is having an impact. It's not real big right now, but the FAA is working with airlines and aircraft manufacturers to study the various manufacturers of these radar altimeters and how they are built into the airplanes and check off the boxes of those combinations to make sure everything is safe. And that is going to take time. This is what it can be like landing at SeaTac Airport and a lot worse than this. In flying, visibility is everything. And if you can't see, 40, pilots 30. must rely on multiple instruments, both in the aircraft and on the ground, to help them land safely. But surrounding SeaTac and other airports, there are plenty of cell towers, and those belonging to AT&T and Verizon are not supposed to be turned on yet until the FAA and airlines are satisfied that those 5G signals won't interfere with the critical instrument on planes, the radar altimeter that tells a pilot exactly how high off the ground he or she is. This is why the airline industry is saying, look, if we're not 100% sure, we're not going to deal with this. We're John Nance is a former airline pilot and studies, writes, and speaks about airline safety. He says those radar altimeters are tied in with other devices in the plane. Everything has become interdependent now, not just landing in bad weather. But when you lose one of these systems that is critical to a, a fogged-in landing, for instance, a Category 2 or Category 3, uh, and uh, we're talking about the radar or the radio altimeter, Altimeter, there are a lot of other things affected. At SeaTac, one of the flights canceled, the Boeing 777 used by Emirates Airlines between this airport and Dubai. Passengers a bit frustrated. It was just so sudden. Uh, uh, that I just feel like it's causing a lot of trouble for passengers and for the general public. Which... Sarbesh Benekasir trying to fly to Bangalore, India. Uh, my flight was canceled, but they actually got me rerouted through LA. Even passengers not on that flight are aware of the 5G issue. And the odd thing is, Europe doesn't seem to be having a 5G issue. So I'm reading, and yet it seems to be a major issue here. So we have, a, we have an answer to that now, which is, according, at least according to aviation folks, they are saying that the 5G signal here in this C bandwidth is about two to two and a half times stronger than it is on those sites around European airports, which is also part of their concern. Live at SeaTac, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Glenn, we're hearing a lot about Verizon and AT&T. What about T-Mobile? So, Mark, T-Mobile actually put out a news release today saying, look, if you haven't heard about it, uh, this is the reason. They went 5G a while ago, starting like 2019, and they are in a much different spectrum area than where Verizon and AT&T are. So here's the deal, is that these radio altimeters are on this section of the band. The Verizon and AT&T signals are over here, and there's a buffer in between. They should not overlap, but the aviation industry wants proof that that cannot happen. Farley, thank you.